Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM. Uh, this is Operation Spider Steed. You're covering a resistance operative. Difficult rated mission, uh, resistance rumor up for grabs, 18 intel, which is all fine and dandy. But the major issue right now is this dark event for the Avatar project of a major breakthrough. I think it was adding two pips to the progress. Not great considering we just removed three over the course of uh, one giant covert action and a pretty difficult mission. Uh, we have sit reps that we've seen before, lightning strike, uh, where we get extra mobility, and then air patrols, extra advent reinforcements will be dropped into the area once the enemy is alerted. Great. We are going to try and blow everything up today. Uh, that is the overall plan, and so hopefully that works out well. Uh, we're taking out short fuse with the rocket launcher, one shredder and one regular. We're taking Dro as our marksman, uh, Brown as our field medic, uh, Pepe, Pepe Bear Prochatska with a, uh, as a Marine, carrying an extra rocket. Uh, Patsy, Warmaster Tech Specialist, carrying an extra rocket. And Spectre, we have a couple field medics here with the med kits. So we want to keep Warmaster, Pepe Bear, and Short Fuse kind of together to try and pass those rockets between each other. Well, <laughs> we'll see. I'm a rocket noob, so this should be, this should be something. In position for deployment. Today's log comes from Razareth, who writes for Peppa Peppa Bear Prochatska, who I want to point out before this log is on the mission. This is what they say. I've become the advent security guard as I patrol the halls. Fun fact, the living quarters has 42 vent slits per room on the ground as you enter it. You want to know the frustrating thing? They are uneven too. It's 14 for the left door, 13 for the right, and 15 for the floor. Why not make them 15 evenly? This has been my daily struggle as I wait to be assigned for active duty. Uh, the monotony of the base. You know, we just got word from not everyone's cut out to be the base security guard, okay? Ooh, interesting. Advent is still in the area, but we're going in to facilitate the VIP safe extraction. Keep your eyes open for hostile activity. This, funny enough, uh, the tunnels of Edmonton look pretty much exactly like the city of Edmonton. From experience. The resistance VIP is hiding in the tunnels not far from your position. Oh One of their field operatives is also on site to assist you in the rescue. Firebrand is standing by, but be careful. Elisa we'll Taylor. Opportunities to set up a viable extraction point down there. Okay. Carrying heavy ordnance and utility slot is slowing down the soldier. Disposing the heavy ordnance will remove the penalty. Yes, got it. Um, let's get close. We want to try and keep that group of people together. Peppa Peppa Bear Prochatska is the other one. We can go here for now. And uh, Patsy, this is going to be our this is going to be our front line, and then we've got our uh, one of our medics back here. Uh, Stephanie, moving. There we go. And then Dro, I mean, I would, wouldn't would mind keeping up here, but clearly that's not, that's going to become obsolete very quick. Oh, someone's angry. Ooh, that sounds like a snake. That sounds snake-like. Or sectoid-like. Remember, no matter how tough things get down here, we can't evac until we complete the mission. Oh, I'm aware. No problem, boss. There's something. Troops here. Ooh, ooh. Okay, it was actually oh, both. And we blew it. And we blew it. That is a massive spawn. Okay. Well. Now, here's the thing. Um... See how we have this scatter? Now, the way I believe that this works is if we if we hadn't have moved, hadn't have moved, if we hadn't moved, then uh, I think our scatter is less. Um, that said, it's a pretty wide area, but the scatter is going to be very unpredictable. Um, we're likely going to throw on an aid protocol up there. Repair protocol is showing. Why is this showing? Send the gremlin to repair a mechanical ally. 
Weird. I wonder if that's showing because of grabbing something to do with signal range. Not sure. Okay. Well, uh, I, I really hate to have short fuse dangling here, but it's exactly what I'm going to do. Actually, is it? Is it? Because I might do this first. I'm going to throw down the defensive mine right here in case that, in case the uh, Viper wants to run at us. That's going to be his likely scenario unless he does something else, but he's got a ton of movement. And I think Shredder Rockets would be good only because, well, these are five to eight. These are five to eight. So if they land, pretty capable of dealing, but we're going to scatter somewhere somehow. And these guys are all on the edges. Like, I feel like I might be better off doing something like this, where I'm really focusing on these two. But I'm going to go against my gut and put it like this and see what happens. Please don't hit the wall next to you. Okay. Well, uh... <laughs> we did end up hitting one. So that's good. We did end up hitting one. Uh, let's go aid protocol on Fuse. I know Fuse has entrenched, but I wasn't expecting to find five enemies here. So that's only slightly problematic. Um, Peppa Bear. Now... Hmm. I think we're going to take this spot on the wall. On the move. Full cover, and we're likely going to zone suppression this. Well, we'll see, because we might be able to get this kill with Dro too. 99 on that Viper feels pretty good. We could do... We could do a uh, lead the target here on the bio captain, but I would need to put some additional damage on first before I feel comfortable. And the fact is, I don't think that's going to be possible. I don't think that's going to be possible. Uh, War Master. I mean, you can stay there in the half. It's treated as full. So we'll bring these guys up. And... Oh, that's interesting. What is this little... Oh, that's the, uh, that's the aid protocol cloud. Yeah, okay. Hmm, damn. I guess for now we're gonna bring you up here. And we'll try and clear the field somewhat. Come on, Dro. Nice shot. Nice shot. Impressed yet? Oh, did we just blow through the wall? Oh my, we blew through the wall, and these guys are now in half cover. Are you kidding me? That is uh, super, super not cool, actually. That's super uncool. Let's switch this over to 66. I think we're still going to go with the suppression here. We'll go single suppression. I may... I'm tempted to come over here. I don't I don't know if the Neonate has... Um... Does it have poison spit? No, it just has the binding crush. So if that's the case, maybe we'll bring uh, War Master out here into the full. Or maybe even here. Yeah, this would be... Oh, uh, no. You know what? This is actually fine. I'm going to come over here. We're going to put some flank pressure on this captain. I think we have to just overwatch here. And Stephanie... Honestly... Let's just take full here. 
All right. Ooh, what's this? Oh, what the frick? Excuse me. Oh boy. Nobody expects the the trooper flank from downtown. Wow. Oh no. Be cool, dude. We've, we've been pretty good with resisting. I hope this group over here isn't taking any super flank shots at us. Here comes the explosion. Do it! Oh, he's not even doing it. Wow. This is... This is going great. <laughs> this is going great. So far. That purifier scares the hell out of me. Because we know how that's about to go down. This is actually not horrible. I gotta deal with these immediate threats. So, Spectre, I mean, we could come down here, but then we have the flanks from up above. God. What does Dro have? 80% on this trooper. Could also bring Dro up and throw a gas grenade there. Uh, for some reason, I feel like the Vipers might be immune to that. Like, if I brought... If I brought Spectre here... And we went all in for kills there. Spectre hopefully kills this Viper with the flank. Uh, Short Fuse doesn't have to deal with this. We can kind of pull back this way. And we maybe even take the Shotgun Blast there. And then uh, Hughes could kind of deal with this Trooper more likely. Let's, Let's start this. with this. We're technically one man down at the moment. Okay. Now, how much damage do they take? How much damage do they take each turn? Is it one or two? Doesn't even say he's poisoned, which gives me a bit of concern. Same here. Do they... Maybe... Yeah, I don't know. Well, now I know we're dangling Spectre a little bit. But we're going to try and kill these guys. 82. I like that. We could come down here and blast this Viper, and then Peppa Bear does have a grenade that could finish that group up top, and maybe that's the safest play. <laughs> I would really like... Yeah, see, this is a little bit sketchy that we have this here. Um... I think if we come in here, it would be better. I just don't know if my angle is going to be weird. And I think this thing was only on these two tiles. Like the like these six or something, right? I mean, I guess to play it safe, I could come over there. But I'm looking for a spot where I can bring uh, Stephanie for a heal. That said, if everything goes according to plan, um, these guys won't be able to see Peppa Bear, and we could heal next turn anyways. Um, so there's that. Okay. First thing we're going to do is this. 
Let's see if we can take down this Viper. Beautiful. It's a sub AD shot, but I'm happy about it. Sergeant rank achieved. And then, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come, like, way over here. Just to guarantee the angle. Uh, how close are we there? Captain could move up and definitely see people over on this side. Or, like, Dro, as an example. I, do, I mean, I guess if he comes all the way over here, he's got 12 mobility. I don't think that's going to happen. But, never know. I'll, I'll play it safe and I'll go way over to this side. Smooth. Real smooth. And then I'll come and bring her over here. So we can get a quick heal next time. So he's still on fire. Sucks to be him. Reinforcements in three turns. He's probably going to shoot at Dro here. Finally. A full cover shot that doesn't land. Oh god. That flank. That scared the hell out of me. Thankfully, they didn't also take shots, because... Not cool. Alright. 63 down there. Uh, so we're going to set up a brace, and we're going to go with a lead the target, for sure. Let's get our heals in. Oh yeah, that's... Spectre has healing as well. I could have just... I could have utilized her a lot better. Definitely. Get back in there! Oh, but you know what? So, I just realized he's healing for four. I think because she just got that promotion. Uh, she's at medical specialist one. So, maybe it doesn't take effect right away. But in mission, I wonder if that upgrades your, uh, your charges. I gotta wait for that poison to dissipate as well. So, we're in this weird... This weird battle. I could come down and put a combat protocol on, actually. And I think I will. The Psy Zombie's pretty far away. We combat protocol uh, the Captain. Which pretty much guarantees that if lead the target triggers, the Captain will die. We could even further solidify this by just taking that extra shot with Chen with the shotgun. But it's not its not even necessary. Let's just get some reloads in here. Um, I, we may actually want to work from this side Finally. instead. I'm on it. Let's get a reload here. Scanning. I'm on it. Oh, yeah. And reload on Peppa Bear. Reinforcements are dropping right away. That was a big burn hit, my god. Now the shotgun would have killed him. Let's go, Dro. Overkill. Love that. I love overkill. Okay. We still have the... We still have that grenade thing down here. He doesn't seem too interested. I mean, didn't expect that Overwatch to do anything. Oh. Fancy. Very fancy. Okay. Let's move Stephanie up top here. I don't think... So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, he could maybe get there actually and flank us. I was thinking of maybe going here for the full cover. Uh, oh yeah, he doesn't even need it. He doesn't even need it. Let's 
put him here. I kind of want to take this shot. Only because the others could move forward and better overwatch this position. But I also wouldn't mind moving him and setting him up for a brace. I just don't have like a good... Well, I have this, but... Actually, this could work. Yeah, this can work for me. Let's do that instead. Uh, fuse. I think we'll just take this kill. It's killing time. The invisible Psy zombie. Um, Peppa Bear, I actually don't mind this right here. We can see down that corridor. We're kind of going for like a surround here. Maybe even tossing a blinding protocol on the sectoid would be good. An overwatch is, is fine. I actually think this will be a bit more effective in helping us. And then, unfortunately, I'll take the half cover here. Ooh, actually. No, this should be fine. I think we put this to two, t two tiles. I think. So if something runs at us, we'll see. I don't think Stephanie's going to see much here, but you never know. 66 here. Oh, yeah. Just through the roof, hey? Force it to stun Lancer. Land it. Love it. That armor's tough. <sighs> We're putting out damage with that armor. We need two more. We got it. Oh, we got him. Of all the people to trigger it, it's the advent mech. Oh, the defensive mine coming in absolutely clutch. Very nice. And unfortunately, I don't see anything over here. And our combat protocol is on cooldown because why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? Now, uh, I forgot about one of the aspects of failsafe the last time we were using this. And one of the aspects of failsafe is that it negates any negative consequences of failed hacks. So you might as well just go for it, right? And in this scenario, um, this is a this is a prime time to go for it. So fail safe, extra hacking. We go haywire protocol. We get a hundred percent shutdown. But if we wanted to, we could flip the coin, and we could do a uh, we could do a, a control without the negative, the possibility of this negative happening. That said, I'm pretty happy to take a shutdown. Turns off the Overwatch, obviously. Now we could start blasting. The problem is, <laughs> I would like to kill this Stun Lancer. Now Spectre could go. Um, the problem with this is obviously this this Sectoid, right? So I'm wondering, <laughs> I'm wondering if we do the ultimate, do we do the ultimate dangle? I'm going to, I'm going to try the ultimate dangle and, uh, let's see. I just need to hit one. And if we don't, I got to take some extra measures. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. H. Good angle, 4%. Height advantage, high cover. 
Okay. I can come down here for a potential flank. Busting this Overwatch on the uh, Lancer. We did... Okay. So, good news. Great news. Great news. Is we have a point blank here with this guy's name on it. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, we do have that. We also have this, which could work, but I need to remove that. I need to remove this Overwatch somehow. I don't really have like any guaranteed ways of doing that just yet. No problem, boss. So I like coming down here for the flank on the Sectoid to maybe get a stun. I like being able to kill this guy. It's just that if the stun fails and Pepper Bear gets hit by this Overwatch, getting in close for the uh, point blank, then we're in big trouble. Now, the fact is we're leaving from full, so his chances to hit will be less, but not impossible. The, w the other thing I could do is I could, I could bust it over here into full and uh this this mech is still shut down i could bust it over here to break it this way so we have the dash but yeah i don't know the math i don't know the math about leaving from full cover so, uh, or sorry, leaving from full cover versus, um, a dash. I gotta look into that. The other possibility. God. The other possibility, uh, is we go all in on hitting this, this sectoid. But if I'm looking at, if I'm looking at this stun chance... It's actually pretty high. The height advantage is adding 20, but the high cover is removing 40. So we would lose 20, gain 40 with the flank, essentially. So that's improving our chances, but it's not perfect. And could he kill us with six? It would be unlikely, but I don't think it's impossible, especially if we take a shot here. Okay. So here, I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to increase our chances. But even if I... <laughs> I'm, like, hesitating with this lot, but... Even if I put Spectre here, uh, this isn't a guaranteed kill at all. It's not a guaranteed kill. Uh, we do have the stun. We could check that, too. This will break the Overwatch. Let's see. I think we've taken our lowest chance at... Oh, it didn't trigger. Okay. Well, that's helpful. 89. Hope this works. There we go, baby. Nice job. Okay. So, what that lets me do... We're going to set up a brace here because nothing else I can do. Um, now, we do have extra chances of dealing with this sectoid. Moving to position. So, we're going to point blank this. Please crit. That would be huge. Great in space. Oh, my Lanta. Target eliminated. That was a thing of beauty, actually. And then, uh, he's stunned. Let's move already. So I'm going to come down here. We're going to start shooting at this spark for now. Hit the armor. I fully expected us to at least hit There's something down there. Move. Take it, Trope. Did you see that one? Oh, I sure did. You did a great job. Some of these guys, they just need like a little bit of encouragement. Okay, casual four damage. Seems doable. Short fuse does have a promotion here. So does Stephanie. So does Peppa Bear. Uh, Warmaster could use some action, I suppose. Affirmativo. Just take it. 
So far, uh, we have not passed any rockets. We have used two to uh, a certain level of effect. Go, go, go! Okay. On your order. If I bring you over, let's give the rocket. That's so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, let's get a reload in back here. I feel like we might be in the clear now. Should we give this one as well? Might as well. As well, well. Might as well. As well. Well. Roger. Uh, let's set up oh, here for right now. Peppa Peppa Bear. And uh, Spectre, Fall let's move up. I, th I think we're... I, th I want to say we're in the clear. Whatever you say. Come get some. Come get some. Got it covered. Yeah, okay, we're we're clear. Now, is this like a is this like some type of crazy defense thing? Finally. I feel like it might be. And if that's the case, I want to secure this top area. Moving to position. Mi muovo verso le coordinate. Running. Short fuse. Uh, yeah, I mean, that works. But I gotta bring... I gotta get Dro up there for sure. Who's gonna be the person that grabs from inside? Maybe... Warmaster? Then just one turn to get Dro up there, just in case. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to defend, but I could be wrong. Seems doable. Okay. So, brace for you. Everyone else, reload. Ready to go. One round of overs, and then we grab. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. The cavalry's here. Oh, double drops. Yep. VIP identity confirmed. Firebrand is setting up for evac. We've got multiple contacts closing on your position. It's an ambush. Hold your ground. Here I come. Okay, we're actually positioned very well for this one. Uh, I'll put... Uh, do I want to drop, Stephanie? I don't think so. Let's move already. Short fuse with the scatter gun is going to be better off on this side. We could overwatch here. I'm going to move Peppa Bear down. No problem, boss. Short fuse close but high. And overwatching Warmaster, yikes. I guess we'll take a position over here with you. We'll watch there. We'll put you in the corner. Moving to Overwatch. Come get some. Affirmative. Covering now. Overwatch. If these guys come in, I'm sure they're gonna run out this way. These neonates are pretty popular. We should maybe look at changing their spawn rates to being more, like, less dominant over the traditional Vipers. Eventually, they'll be ignored completely because they're only at low force levels, but... Damn, come on. Oh, that's a big flank.
Oh, okay. Okay, nobody expects the triple overwatch. This is not going to be easy. I just got to take our best percentages. Yeah, Overwatch definitely removed. No, now, with Claudius, when we do uh, ABC protocols, it doesn't end the turn now, right? Yeah, it doesn't consume all remaining. So, well, actually, I can only see one here anyhow. But I think that's because we don't have a visual of this neonate. That said, um, combat protocol here. Sixty-three to stun. Thirty-three over there. don't want to break an overwatch with you if I don't have to. This is... This is overkill, obviously. We could also frost bomb this guy. You know what? 63 is better than 60, but... Oh, love it. Love it. That guy behind cover, though, might be problematic. I wouldn't mind keeping these guys here for the overwatch. Hmm. Oh, I can frost there. I can take the one damage. But I'd probably be better off overwatching. It's going to be very unlikely we can frost bomb multiple things here. Just the nature of these drops. Ready to die. Affirmative covering now. Oh, we do need to come and kill this guy, I just realized. Okay, well, let's worry about the overwatches. I don't think he even shot from here, actually. Too far. I'm on it. He does have a shot from here, but the flank as well. This guy was overwatched, right? But yeah, I don't know if that was the best. He probably could have changed that order of operations a bit. Shots, good shots, good shots. Let's go, Stephanie. That's too bad. 66 was your magic number. See, like saving those combat protocols, we kind of misused those a bit. And I guess we should expect the triple overwatches because. They can only take uh, these type of actions on these reinforcements, so. Yeah. Now, I gotta try and hit the guys that are gonna be tough to deal with. Like, <laughs> I hate to blast our sniper shot at this frozen viper, but I think that might just be what's required. 
65 there is pretty good. For my rockets. I think they're in that corner. Yeah. Yeah, I think I let this rip here. With pleasure. Wow. The scatter. I hate it. <laughs> Jeez. 52 versus 51. Four to six. This is all I need, but... We could do, like, a blinding protocol down on that trooper. And then we have the neonate soon. I mean, I guess this is the shot I have to take here. But I can also guarantee kill this mech. But I think... Yeah, I don't know, actually. Our, he, we might be close enough for him. I got a 65 there. an 82. Let's try this. Yikes. Yeah, see, that, that changes things a little bit for me. Is my weapon range low right now? No, his high cover is just high. And I don't have a flank on him. Pepper Bear would, but then I don't have this shot on the mech. So what am I most scared of? I think the mech, but... Pepper Bear, we're going to start with this. 65. There you go. There you go. There you go. And then... He's got one turn remaining, so I think he's... That means he's unthawing next turn. So a little suppression here could go help us. Roger that. Suppressing hostile. Flashbang down there. Possibility. And then Dro, I guess, takes this kill. Not too shabby, is right. Stay hunkered over there. Uh, they're dropping back here again. Okay, come on now. Now we got bios dropping in. They're getting stronger. He is thawed. Come on, Stephanie. There you go. That's what we need. Yeah, you should be pumped. There goes his cover. This is not easy. Uh, free reload, definitely. Trooper. Oh my god, it's just beautiful. Love how he looks when he's just absolutely dead. <laughs> uh, yeah, 46, I mean, it's not bad. Not bad. No magic there. Target locked. Come on, fuse. All the rockets. 
It's impossible. It's impossible. And this is why I will probably stick to grenade launchers. <laughs> Look, we've we carried uh, extra rockets in and two of them whiffed completely. I think maybe three. So yeah, it's not ideal. We're flipping a pretty bad coin down here. Oh, good job. I am. We're winning for now. Peppa Peppa Bear. You know, like, we're going to flip the coin just because then I can shoot twice. Actually, and I say flip the coin. I use that term liberally. I just realized we didn't have enough ammo for suppression, so that's cool. Back online. War Master. Okay, these guys have to take uh, like overwatches essentially, right? So if I come down here, I only need two damage, but if I miss, we're in big trouble. Fish. I mean, we could use his health. He's He's got a decent chunk of it. Ooh, it's only it's only 60. Oh, come on. Come on. That was a bit of a bummerville, but to be expected, I guess. Now I'm dangling him pretty hard. He is moving. There's a chance. I'll get him next time. Oh, I thought we were done. Oh. Okay. Um. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing some of the issue now. Because I got to get moving. Frick. Let's get her out of here. What? Wow. Well, okay. That, that does actually kind of help still. Time to get the rest of the squad out of there before they get overrun by those damn things. Yeah, agreed. I gotta free him. Are you kidding me? Finally. Now there's an overwatch in the back to worry about, but. Uh, where are we on a dash to the exit? We're, we're within range, but there's gonna be overwatches the whole time. I'm gonna set you back here. You're gonna have to break this overwatch. And then uh, Peppa Bear. Let's just do this. Move us a little closer. Make sure we get an overwatch on whatever drops. On oh, three bios. Four bios! Yeah, this is actually... scary. Killing one would have been massive. Because now we got four overwatch troopers to deal with. 
And probably more. Yeah, exactly. Forgot about this guy. What? My God. We've picked up a lull in their forces. It looks like they're running out of reinforcements. Let's get moving before that changes. Yeah. So, <laughs> here's what's going to have to go down. So now you... I got to find out... Yeah. So those two guys would be able to take shots here. They would have to crit. I don't think Overwatches can crit generally. Um... Now, I wonder how this works. If I put it on him and then move him, he loses those benefits, right? I think so. Spectre can make it out. Short Fuse can make it out. Dro can make it out. Stephanie has the most health currently. We could have her try and break this. Those two. Yeah. Got it. Moving. Where's the Overwatches, guys? Where are those? Where where are they? Oh, F. That's really annoying. That guy shot. This is kind of freaky now. I can't believe that didn't trigger any. Hey, Warmaster, buddy. I need ya. Hey, that's good. We're good. Whether this hits or not. Yeah, good. That's good news. Okay, so those two are fine. I'm going to keep him here in case we need to aid protocol. I'm looking for a spot where maybe I can just trigger one overwatch. And see if I can still get here. <laughs> this is pretty tricky, but it seems to be working. Oh no! Oh wait! Oh, that was weird. Okay. I thought he blew out the floor and we fell. We're gonna need that space, likely. I got one more Overwatch to contend with. I got six health here. And I got six health here. Solid copy. All right, baby. I think we might get out of here. Let's go. Short fuse. Jeez. On it. That was sketch. Holy moly. Hacking it in. Okay, well, uh, that was successful. We needed that to be successful because of the dark event countering. Still have to do another assault mission to fully counter it, but damn. And that was with like our medium to low squad as well. MVP on short fuse, yeah, 51 damage, not bad. Look at her shots. Maybe stick to that instead of the rockets.
Wang Ton. Wang Tone? That's how you say it? Wang Tone? Destruction. Dro, 47 damage, 7 on 8 shots, 0 of 1 Overwatch. Uh, Stephanie, a lot of healing. I Well, mm, can't remember actually. I don't think we ended up using that. Uh, pretty accurate though, 17 damage. Uh, 34 damage here on Peppa Bear, really high accuracy. And uh, War Master, 6 damage dealt, but we did shut down that robot and flashbang and do all that stuff, so... Move furthest in concealment. Leaf on the wind. Ran the most overwatches. And then Spectre Hughes. Most exposed and most assist. Yeah, not bad. Not a bad day. In the sewers. Uh, there, was a, there was a point there where, like... Not I was thinking... Things weren't going to go so well. <laughs> Jeez. That flank to the left really freaked me out. Forces. We must be thankful for their patience with us. And we must never stop the fight against those who would see our great union falter. Move your head. Oh, God. I meant... I, I, that was like... You know how you're in the character pool and you rotate your characters? I was trying to drag him around. Anyway. This guy's seen better days. But you know what? Not... Not bad. A lot of promotions. Dro now. High approach angle. Uh, efficient targeting. And stalker. No longer ends the turn. The effect persists for an additional turn. I'm going to take high approach angle. I think, too, like, thinking back to the uh, Black Sight mission, having... Uh, if I would have forced Tyrant over to those buildings, we would have had a much better chance at killing things and uh, maybe could have helped us. But either way. Return fire. Demolition. So I've got her as entrenched. Uh, we should mark blast padding to come back for as well. Return fire's okay. With the scatter gun, it's like a guaranteed one damage, which is, you know, fine. I think I'm going to take demo, though. Field medic. Emergency aid. Definitely. And... Peppa Peppa Bear. Flush, covering fire. Reaction shots ignore 60% of the target's defense granted from cover. Let's take this. Plus, they get that aim penalty. And Spectre. I'm trying to, like, vary these up, but I do see certain things that I'm like, I feel like Fleet Foot is just better. But when we bring out multiple medics, it is nice to have some variety there. Elisa. Elisa. Welcome. This is nice. And, uh, Ozzy and Odd. What's up? I think, isn't that, like, a level two? I can't remember. Who's got that negative trait that we wanted to remove? Cuttlefish. So she's out for 47 hours, and then I can put her in. And I definitely will. This is a really bad defensive trait. Soldier bonds. Yeah, let's just do this. Ozzy and Odd together forever. Commander in Raid. A bond stronger than iron. Yes. That feels like it rings true. Okay. Uh, so power is done. I can obviously staff somebody here if I need more of it, but I have no need for additional power at this point in time. Um, mag weapons coming in 11 hours. Then we probably switch over to building towers, I think. To researching towers. Do I have any extra... No, I don't. So yeah, this is about as good as it's going to get at the moment, I think. Supplies there, yeah. Now, I don't need to rush for these supplies. We're finishing up these um, prototype items. 
We're at 6 on 12 for the Avatar project. <laughs> New covert action. All right. Rescue a scientist. This would be great. Um, we have the space in our base. We have base space. Uh, moderate chance for wounds. We could give somebody some extra aim. Who's struggling in the aim department? God, we have, like, nobody available. Eight hours, 36 hours, 43 hours, but we might throw her in. Three days. Ugh. Hmm. Okay. I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's go that into our armory. Place to coordinate their operations, Commander. Finn McCool. Ring Shen designs. You're in, buddy. A great candidate for our next construction. This brought out effort. Yoa Raito Futo. Ooh, Raito Futo. What a throwback. Raito Futo was in earlier campaigns. Uh, David Lively. You definitely look like Marbazir. Definitely look like Marbazir. Um, this is using up all, all of our supplies, which kind of sucks. But what I'm thinking is I maybe... Oh, these guys are like brothers. Axel Ostergaard. Let's take you as well. I'm, the reason I'm taking three is because we've got the tactics school. And I think what I'm going to do is train one of these guys as an assault infantry. Um, who's got the most mobility out of the gate? Ostergaard or Lively. Uh, Lively's got less health, so Ostergaard it is. Lower aim, but that's kind of okay with the Assault Infantry. So, Ostergaard is in. Assault Infantry. Go. Uh, what are our tactics in here right now? It's all, it's all amazing stuff. This I should buy very soon. I should definitely buy this soon. It's 80 supplies. So after the... After the um, prototype weapons here, then we'll go grab our supplies, I think. Our research was a Mag weapons. Commander. These magnetic-based weapons are a lot like the early railgun prototypes. They fire projectiles at extremely high velocity. You're a railgun. I don't know. That's fe I, that felt weird. Okay. Bullpup. Auto pistol. Pistol. Magnetic rifle. Mag shorty. Improvised magnetic rifles. Uh, rail pistols. Oh, cool. What else is in here? New research for Gauss. Okay. Substantial improvement power over the conventional. Oh! It heard me. Now, it, I think for the research, we get one of these, but that's it. And we have to buy the rest. Sat strike module. Uh, we're going to take this for sure. Wait. Should be able to establish ground-based relays. Yeah, okay. Also gets us an additional comm, but that's fine. Uh, we want to be able to build the relays. I do want to hit this sooner rather than, than later, but I can't build this anyways. I also want to start doing this now very soon, but it's 25 days. So resistance radio, probably then, uh, then maybe psionics or, or plated armor. I don't know. I foresee a number. Maisty is back. From this Six technology. days on a Reaper. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Um. And then here, well, we're gonna put in our two rookies, so somebody can get an aim boost here. David, since you're so fragile, let's give it to you. And uh, Finn Dragon McCool. It's all you guys. Enjoy that.
Nine days, two hours. Individually built items. In Covert Infiltration, items are built individually rather than universally upgraded. This has several implications for your strategy going forward in terms of what targets you pick and how you equip your forces. Properly equipping multiple squads of operatives with the latest gear may be a challenge. Over infiltration can help under equipped squads gain an edge in their opponents, while well equipped squads might want to infiltrate faster so their gear can be rotated more frequently. Remember that items can be sold back to the black market for supplies, but the alloys and Illyrium invested cannot be regained. Building too many tier 2 items can leave you broke when tier 3 items are unlocked. Instead of gaining a single tactical legacy pack weapon or armor when the schematic is built, a prototype is granted when the relevant research is completed. Careful players will have already noticed the pop-ups after the research completed. Additional prototypes can be gained from certain scanning sites. Oh, okay, so that's what popped up there. We got those prototypes from the tactical legacy pack. By default, weapon attachments can be freely removed and transferred. The Remove Weapon Upgrades button on the squad select screen removes upgrades from all weapons not equipped by the current squad. In the Weapon Upgrade screen, the X button in the bottom, in the corner of each upgrade, will remove that upgrade from the currently selected weapon. Yep, cool. Fine. Great. How much are these things? 25 supplies and 5 alloys. I mean, I gotta have them. The mag shorty could be beautiful too. I'm I'm loving those short, those cutoff shotties. Pretty likely that we're gonna have uh, mag rifles for the next mission. I'll wait to build them, I guess. Um, oh, what I was looking at is I'm gonna build one of these again so total duration now nine days two hours i mean it shaves off six hours it's not bad this is cutting into my guns i just hope when i switch them back yeah okay good they still look the same this <laughs> is so casual. He's got a scarf and everything. All right, eight days, 14 hours. I might as well have these and I might as well use them. Uh, we've got them on all of our other squads right now. So anyway, get out there. I will read their bios as well. Okay. I got another assault mission to destroy the alien relay. Okay. So this is the final in the chain to destroy the, uh, to counter the um, major breakthrough. Hunter possibility, uh, alien ruler possibility. Setting course for Western Haven't United seen them for a while. I could probably afford one mag weapon. We're at force level five. But we do have a pretty good squad available. Oops. I'll build up my squad, then we'll get to those uh, bios as well. Now, I, I got to imagine we're going to have a retaliation. Soon. Destroy the relay. So we can squad sight it. Ozzy is paired with Odd. He's tired, though. Tyrant is paired with Patsy, so we'll definitely bring those two. Let's bring... Let's bring Falk here. We'll bring Spectre. Then we have people that are tired for 18 hours. Jeez. This is this is the this is where things get very stressful, in my opinion. Oh, I wanted to put you in for cautious, but that just takes another person out. Oh, I've, do I ever not feel great about this? 
<laughs> I'm just worried what's going to pop next. 18 hours. So let's say I put in... Um, cuttlefish, right? And let's say a mission pops up next. And outside of cuttlefish, I'm going to have Libby, Ozzy, Mace, Stephanie. That's four. And I probably have to take some people that are tired. Which doesn't feel great. Doesn't feel great. Yeah. Okay. Sniper rifle, assault rifle, assault rifle, assault rifles across the board. Um, you were going to go... Okay, so hold on. Let's unequip the barracks. Make upgrades available. Now you could take this mag rifle. Four to seven. Bonus crit. Clip size is the same. It's got that same flexibility, so it's got the three slots. Yeah, but anyway, we're going to take the cannons for you. Sawed off shotgun and a vest. You're taking the sniper rifle with free reload and offense on the same target. You can also take the tracer rounds and we'll give you the gas grenade. Now, uh, we had, didn't a gas grenade drop from one of those bio guys in the last mission? I almost wonder if we should have two of those. Because I think we had one on him previously. Anyway. So I can't upgrade this. Sapper, you're going to actually carry the scatter gun. And we're going to go critical hit and close range. Frost bomb. And I'm not saying I won't try the um, the rockets again, but I have to wait until we can boost that a little bit. So we're going to take the med kit and the vest there. More med kits. More vests. Eight health, eight health. Everybody right now is eight. Uh, Gentle has nine, which is quite good. Entrenched here, so we'll try and tank with you. Um, who's got better aim? 71, 74. Let's give you the improvised mag rifle. And then we're going to give you the extra capacity. Pull pup there. We do have this rail pistol. Three to five damage. It's still small caliber, so it has that weird uh, minus one armor, but it's three to five instead of three to four here. This is better to take when we have lost. Uh, uh, having the option to use a hollow target is nice, although I really don't use it a lot. Hmm. Okay. I can build one thing. Oh, maybe two. Build a mag rifle. Okay, that's it. Mag rifles cost the most. That's fine. I wonder... Oh, actually. Hold on. Mag rifle 4 to 7. Is improvised the exact same? Yeah, okay, cool. I, w I probably should have upgraded the bullpup just to get a little bit of extra damage going this way. Let's go extra aim.
I mean, I might as well throw these on. Oh yeah, we can't. Okay. Who needs mobility? Let's give it to him as well. All right, so I think this is the squad. Uh, God, this is very hard. Things are very challenging here. Um, I do have some empty slots, but like, I can't, there's nothing I can put in them. I can't afford to really buy anything else. Uh, I could build another nano scale, I suppose. And I guess that could be the difference maker. We'll give that to uh, our sapper to be up front and we'll go from there. Okay, so that's our squad. And another long episode, guys. I really hope that you can keep up with this, but I got three people to meet. Uh, Finn Dragon McCool, who I'm pretty... Oh, can I not read this right now? I can't read it. Okay, well, when they come back, we'll read their, we'll read their bios. My bad. My bad. Um, Ostergard, though, we can read. I love this pipe. I think Dragon McCool has been in previous campaigns as well. Axel's friends would say that his most remarkable character trait was his ability to be calm and collected in the face of overwhelming odds and his love for business casual. When the aliens invaded, he disappeared into the wilderness. From there, he stalked the aliens from the shadows, picking off underguarded patrols and protecting civilians from alien attacks. People told stories about being saved by a mysteriously well-dressed hero wandering into the wild. Years later, he discovered that XCOM had survived and joined up with them to continue his quest to bring down the alien occupation with style. I love that. And a really cool looking character too. A little bit of a hippie. I'm down. I'm super down. You're going to be our new assault infantry. You could carry us to victory. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to see you in the next one, okay? Bye for now.